All right. Launching the Snowflake Space Couch. Here we go, folks. With science. Wow, Neo, that was bold. Neo just caught everyone up on the codes. He could have been the only one that knew. Yep. Oh, he has the... He, Neo has the first part. In fact, he had the whole code. God, I wish I could get more stabilizers on this. I don't like launching wobbling. Oh, Neo didn't have the first. Ah. I thought he did. No, he was saying he didn't have the first. I missed it. No, no, he just said he deleted it for some reason. Neo just deleted it. <laughs> 398 parts, 178, uh, 9 tons. Working. <sighs> well, I think it's tough now, Neo. You've just handed out the second and third part to somebody that's probably got the first part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dr. Squidopolis, they might not be in the right order. Did you put them out in order, Mech? I'm going much faster than I was when I had the four orange tanks on. Much faster. Yep, you are. So this must be less than what you tested. No SRB. Well, you have got SRBs for the next stage, but if it doesn't get up there, you could probably strap a few rest small SRBs on the first stage. Oh, I'm getting up into orbit. Providing the next like few stages don't just fall apart, I feel like I'm going to get into orbit. Oh, I get thrusting down as well. And then back up. <laughs> yeah, I'm up and down and up and down right now. It's that Sharon. She can make you do that sometimes. It's a damn nice looking shuttle, not shuttle from Crash, you got that. Thank you. Okay, it's just switch to rockets. Next stage, go. Thank you, Snowflake Lifter. You did your job perfectly.
I hope they allow recovery of um, non-broken parts in the future. What do you mean? So that, um, reward. So that if you... Well, if, when it wants to bring the economy and money in, if you're able to... Uh, say like you've just dropped that snowflake, if, if you're able to get that down to the ground undamaged... Oh, you yeah. Up, and you could uh, use the pass again. Maybe put back into stock for use without having to pay for the part new ones. This is definitely an orbit. Well done, Spooey. Thank you. Tabakasi says four ports, four skippers in an orange. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to do something different, man. That's what I've been doing since yeah. I started the game. Yeah, four skippers in an orange has been done many times before. And obviously I can make uh, variations of this. Someone finally got it. Did anybody notice the name of my my show today? Nope. It's the couch stream episode now. three, the search for science. Parentheses. And Spock. <laughs> All right, ninety-seven, ninety-nine. Pretty circular. In fact, I think I can just blind burn to the moon from right here. That's what I'm doing. I dare you to not troll me, Moon. I'll be upset a little bit if you don't, actually. Baseballs 2, the search for more money. Probably needed to aim just a little bit more slightly skyward if you're going for the moon. But you probably still get it. Ooh, I'm nervous. Ah, look at that. Blind burn. Right to 17 parry. Perfect! Perfect! Fly me to the moon. Do do do. Now I knew I could do that, you guys, because 
the moon was lined up pretty much 45 degrees to my... I, I can't explain it. If the moon's in front of you when you're taking off, you'll catch it about right here if you go straight at it. And I just knew this from playing the game too much. It's not that I'm like, Oh my god, blind burn to the moon! <laughs> yeah, basically, if the moon is just coming above the horizon of Kirby as you're coming round, burn pro grade. Yeah, and I didn't... And you'll hit it. I didn't really set that up before I launched. It just was a, a happy coincidence. I'm a mog. Half man, half dog. I'm my own best friend. The password to the airlock is one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Doo. Look at this weird loopy, loopy orbit I'm getting here. I'm going to do the herka jerk here. Do a little corkscrew around the moon. Now, I can actually fix this right now by getting on the horizon and burning south, I believe, which is 180. Here we go, right here. And this should. Yeah, yeah, I was just about to say, no, you can leave it from south, but you're above now, yeah. So, yeah, burn south. There we go. I fixed it a little bit. We're getting a more equatorial approach. I even had enough left over to make some mechy pants for Pee Wee. I gotta turn this music down. It's all up in my ears. Oh, yeah, John Candy. And then, like, where is Chris Farley with this Canadian... Oh, God, Chris Farley would be a, the perfect person to make fun of the Canadian mayor guy who's on crack. Like, it's almost like Chris Farley came back as a Canadian politician. <laughs> Did you see when, he, when the dude ran, ran into uh, the camera? He's like running from all the cameramen and he's got his head down and he's just trying to get through him and he looks up and there's a camera right in his face and he hits it and then the camera hits his face and then the camera hits the back of the wall. So like, it really, it was like running into a wall. Yeah, Rob Ford. Neo, are you, do you live in Toronto? <laughs> oh, that's been fun watching Rob Ford's shenanigans. I thought that sort of stuff was called idiocy. It's really funny, though. <clears throat> Has nobody worked out that code yet? I don't think so. I'm going to burn east just a little bit to bring it up fairly, just a tiny bit. 12k, I'm fine with that. Hello, Moon. It's good to see you again. I've come for your biomes. Give me your biomes. Soon, all your biomes will belong to me. Surrender to the dark side of the moon. All right. I'm just going to circle our eyes. And we're out of fuel. I'm going to stage and say goodbye to these engines. Goodbye, engines. It was lovely seeing you today.
How about we just land? Well, he did build a lander. I did. Do, 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 do. All right, let's do this. Pretty close to the moon hatch there. Is that the moon hatch crater that you're on top of? Well, you probably passed it now. Yeah, I passed it. Thinking about it. Due to Twitch delay. Thanks, Twitch. Thanks, Twitch. God. Hate you. Love you, Twitch. Don't leave us. No, no. Come back. Yeah, I forgot landing lights, but these rocks are really helping me be able to see where my ship is, so that should help immensely. Oh, I bounced. Whoa, baby! Your pod now belong to us. One of the many perils of landing in the dark with no lights. There we go. There we go. So I feel like that's pretty good. <laughs> no landing lights. Revert! <laughs> I don't have the KSP badge on Steam. Uh, is that because I don't have the Steam copy of KSP? Yep, you haven't linked it to your Steam yet, so you don't get Steam badges for it. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Yeah, I've not bothered either. Uh, um, yeah, it's pretty um, much, if you go into your profile for Kerbal on the website, you can get a Steam key for it instead. Install it to Steam and you can get badges. Oh. I I I I sell I sell all my badges for fifty cents each till I can buy a three dollar game. Yeah, have you guys done that? Use the money. Yeah, them? all of them instantly. Seriously? I'm not even kidding you. I've already bought a $3 game from just selling my badges. If you have a lot of badges, sell them each for 50 cents. You'll end up with a pile of money for games. Or you, you go I've and you, thought about it. you... You go to the marketplace and you click on them and it will say the average price they've been selling at. I just pick a, a like the exact last price that they were sold for. Some go for 15 cents, some go for 50, some go for a quarter. But it adds up. Hola, Senor Sputi. Hey, Siv. Hi, boss. How's it going? Pretty good, going man. Good. Did you see my snowflake lifter? I have not. I just sat down. Oh, you missed a good, good yeah. build here, man. I had fun building that. It was a. Uh, God, what did it have? Like forty-eight. I don't know what. Well, times eight was it? Thirty-two. And then three times eight, twenty-four. Are you, are you so still streaming? Yeah, yeah. Seventy-two. Were you seventy-two? 
I think it was something like that. No, it was uh, 6 times 4 is 24, plus 6 times 3, which is 18. 24 plus 18. That's how many uh, rapiers I used to get this craft into orbit and to the moon. And it's a pretty cool ship. I'll show you before I go uh, bust out, but I'm going to try and grab one more biome here. Observe the mystery goo. It was used uh, to um, get the craft to about 20... When did you drop it? About 20, between 25 and 30 kilometers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what I built this morning? You know the wings on an F-14 Tomcat? Yeah. How they will switch positions? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I built a plane like that. Stop. Shut up. That's awesome. <gasps> yep, I'm going to... Uh, it, it works. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit, and uh, I'll stream that tonight or tomorrow. I will definitely like to watch that. Because I heard you talking about wanting to build an X-Wing with actual folding wings on it. Yep, that's uh, that's kind of what this design is leading to. I'm making sure that I have the <clears throat> I have the concept down well, and uh, then we're moving on to an X-Wing. How are you going to fold the wings? It's How tough. am I going to? Uh, well, the same way that I'm folding Trade them secret, on the plane Trade right secret. now. <laughs> Same way that other people have been doing hinges. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Surface sample. 30 science. Well, it's science. It depends who these other people are. Yagnet, EJ, other people. No, not them. I was going to say, They're... why are we naming those people? Their way of doing hinges is garbage. Yep, I said Ooh. it. I'm going down the gauntlet. <laughs> hey, isn't uh, the arch right here? I might fly over to the arch. As I'm pretty damn sure it's right there. Siv didn't throw down the gauntlet. He threw it down, stamped it into the ground, buried it, and placed a flag on top going, Gauntlet! <laughs> gauntlet! <laughs> No, it's not. When Sif throws down the gauntlet, the dead complain about the noise. I don't recognize this crater. It's definitely on the northwest side. This could be it, if it's it. No, it's at this crater. This is the one I'm right next to. Yeah, it's hope, way up here. I hope, I Go hope ahead. most of your viewers understand that I'm just uh, joking around. And... Oh, yeah, please, for the love of God. They're nearly all regulars anyway, so. Yeah. And it's if just they don't know by now that you're joking, <laughs> they're too it's late. Ju it's just a character I play on Twitch. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real life or anything. It's like Spooty. When you see him outside, he's actually a black guy with white hair. With absolutely <laughs> no facial features. He just used a lot of makeup. And he wears his special white gloves. <laughs> yeah. Wait, All right. does he grab his crotch a lot? I put that already. He keeps saying mammy a lot. Mammy boy. I think this is the arch right here. Do you know, hey, I've never booty. found that. What's up, Siv? What, the arch? No, I'm, just, I'm just saying get it. Oh, I'm getting it. You've never been to the arch, Mech? No, no, never. There's a lot of them. That's right shocked there. me. Aren't they in like a line? If you go if you go at the right height you can fly through them all. Yeah, they're quite big. <laughs> oh, you mean all the arches? I've I've only been yeah, to, to yeah. one arch. No, they're scattered around the planet. They're not you know <laughs> they're not in a line that you can just go underneath them all. <laughs> That's <laughs> a shame. Be, if they were in like a cool line though. it'd be awesome. Yeah. I'd say what you still need to do. That's just reminding me of a challenge someone set you. I have no idea who it was. Still need to put rings into orbit and fly through them. Retrograde. Yeah, that's when I was building the hyperspace ring for the uh, 
yeah. the quote Jedi Starfighter. The Silver Links SSTO. That was a long time ago. Yeah, I've never actually done. The I still have it. Set you. I cannot remember who set it. Well, someone in Sip's chat basically turned around and said, "Oh, you know, we, we're all talking about oh, if you put big rings in orbit, you could fly through them." And someone said, "Yeah, put some in orbit and then fly through them retrograde without hitting I, any." I think it was Yardnik. Possibly. And I'm I'm all for doing that. I think that'd be great. But that's like four thousand five hundred meters per second that you're going to be traveling towards that ring. Yep. Not long to uh, change anything. Yeah, and the ring isn't going to stay upright with the planet as it spins around as it orbits. Put them in GNC, they will. No, no, it doesn't have to. I mean, <clears throat> all you have to do is find the place. You have to be on opposite sides of the orbit and just make sure that uh, you're at the right place at the right time when the ring is uh, at a 90 degree angle to the planet so that when it comes around the other side and you actually pass through it it will be aimed right at you yep there's definitely that that could be interesting but how many rings would you want to fly through uh, one I think that's enough <laughs> no if you're going to do it you're going to have multiples the idea was to get the intercept of that ring from the other side of the planet and then not touch a thing until your ship went through it. So, yeah. Yeah, but one could you enough. imagine? Could you imagine launching and then going through all the rings without touching anything once you set your orbit up? If you like oh. that so much, then you do it. It's going to <laughs> land on the, on the arch. <laughs> Uh, Tabak, Scott did that for sure. IVA. Oh, it's talking about Juno Encounter. I was going to say, Scott Manley did not fly through rings in IVA. If he did, he's a scumbag liar. Oh, right, the arches, I thought they were kind of really organized. I didn't think they were rock arches. I thought they were a bit like the monolith. Nope. Unless they've had an art pass in the new version. No, you, you I like can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do you? Yes, you can, Nick. You can do it. <laughs> Use the force, Spooky. Turn off your targeting computer. You do not need it. Yeah, I, I can't. I'm just going to land it. take a, a few goes to land on the arch because it, it's not got one flat area I can't it. it's it's too heavy that is why you fail man Yoda is so disappointed in you I hate you all and I'm landing on this fucking arch <laughs> <laughs> he's like no I'm gonna bloody do it now just to prove you all wrong See what you made me do! I didn't do anything! That's okay, I'll take full responsibility. What happened? I think we're about to find out. I should be catching some Yeah, I'm waiting for the stream to catch up. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, oh. oh, 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 oh. No explosions yet. Buffering. Though. No, no, it's buffering my end, what the hell? It just fell off. Ah! That scream says there was an explosion. Look at see your whole chat is behind you. Come on people, tell them <sighs> tell them you can do it. Give them your support. This is annoying, and I don't think I will be doing this. So no oh, one yeah. will see it today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be landing on that side, it's got a very steep slope. <laughs> This is why I add RCS to everything. I'm getting critical. I just need to land. 
Like I'm going to yeah, come man. over here and land because I'm running out of fuel and I need to do a little bit of science and be able to take off from this thing. Ah, oh, well, I think you've booked oh, it. For those that actually care, off. the new Humble Bundle's up and it sucks. Uh, what is it? Uh, Machinarium, Windowsill, Samaros 2, and Lumo. And then if you pay more than the basic, you get Botanicula and Shelter. In other words, all games that have either been on it before or are just dire. All right, we landed at the moon after some shenanigans. <laughs> uh, shenanigans. That was hard. Okay, so I don't have enough to go to another biome. I'm going to hope that this is close enough to get a different sample. Yes. Oh, you've still got another stage left, haven't you? The moon's highlands. Yeah, I do. That's for getting home. There's no landing legs on it. It's just getting home solely. Yeah. You've not got parachutes, have you? <laughs> oh hell no! I, I can't see any parachutes on that craft either. Jeb's I, gonna live. I thought that cone on top was a parachute. Just Jeb's gonna live. Fact. You're gonna have to. Put yep. it in orbit around yep. the moon and do a rescue mission for the science. No. This is going home. Jeb leaves. I've just seen Spooty's face palm when he realized he had no parachutes. Yeah. <laughs> Priceless. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be a gift. Like, oh, oh, oh. Jeb is leaving, perhaps for the last time. Question mark. My EVA report. You start to say something dramatic and poignant about the plight of the Kerbal kind in this grand universe, only to be cut off by random radio chatter that the situation is nominal. Great. Great! I hate that word. Nominal? I don't like it either. It's, they say it far too much. Phenomenal. 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 Hang on. No, I've got to do it. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> All right, here's a trajectory I'm taking home. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Home, sweet home. Nick, have you ever played Payday? No, the one where you rob it's the bank? Awesome. Yes. Whole lot of fun. Last day of the sale, all the... There's just me and Siv at the moment, and it is so much fun. How much is it? All the... All the old deals are back, and the original one, just paid a one, two bucks. So worth two bucks. Hell, even in single player, it's worth two bucks, let alone multiplayer. It is really frantic, and it's a lot of fun. Especially if you don't control those damn civilians. I think uh, my brother's going to get it, and he's going to play with us. Awesome. Well, that's cool. Oh, the Wolfpack DLC, the DLC right. for it is Hold a on. dollar. What I did here, guys, is that um, I ensured that my launch site was inside of the ring um, between Kerbin and the moon, and I took off directly in a retrograde fashion which lowered my uh, periaps down into the Kerbin atmosphere. As simple as that. So you really don't need hardly any fuel at all to leave the moon and come home. Carry on. Sorry. 
Whoa, Wolfpack DLC is 80 pence. So yeah. you guys aren't playing Payday 2? Like didn't, didn't Payday 2 just come out? It did. I didn't want to pay that much for it, though it's not going to go down anymore, so I may pay the $13 for Payday 2. But as far as the first one, I mean, $2 for the game, $1 for the DLC. All right, I'll buy that today, and we'll see what's up. I just got paid. But I think I'm going to have to put the $13 on Payday 2. That's correct, Geeky Meerkat. That is my plan. We're going for a VTOL landing. Ugh. I don't have much hope for this, you guys, but I have to try. It's not in my nature to just give up on this. Well, you're going to be out of breaking to take all your weight off, and then you've got a full stage. I do. But then again, you, you know... You've got legs on this stage that you have at the moment. Could you pass all the fuel into the into the bottom? And forget the top. I think stage? it's going to be too heavy at that point. I mean, it's not much fuel, man. I'm just going to go with this. I I think I can do this. I really do. Shut up. Look at this. Look where I'm headed right at. You're not doing a KSC one again, are you? Well, that one where you just accidentally came into the KSC and landed on the VAB? Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Retro. <laughs> that's going to be That's going to be hot. Well, here we go. What's your parry at? Like 10. This does look pretty close to the case, eh? I think it's going to be in the water. I'm looking at 3,000 meters a second at the moment. That could all shave off pretty quickly though. Yep, water. Hey, that's not too bad, though. I mean, they don't have to go that far. <laughs> no, all right. Just send a boat out there. Yep, and I have the wolf pack. That was quick. <laughs> Eight pence. Yes, please. Okay, little engine. Just me and you. Let's get this done. No shoots. Mike, I forgot him. 
Yeah, I can't work out how you managed to do that. How did you forget the shoe? Oh, I'm antsy. I get ahead of myself hey. a lot. That's okay. I forget stuff all the time. Shannon would distract him with his se with her sexy legs. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon. Oh, but Spooty, Sharon loves you. Who? Sharon. <laughs> I love the way I love the way Sivos's mic just kind of blipped on for a half second there when I did that voice. He was like, "Oh, again." Yeah, as Mike just said, you might make it with that much fuel. I'm getting down to 500 meters. It's not looking great. What's your speed? Whoa, whoa. 28. No, it's not slowing enough. It might be alright. No. They felt breaking on the uh, engine and tank. You might yeah, but it's on yes. the water. It's going to just chew everything up. Yeah, see? Should have started the retro burn earlier, I would have been lighter. Oh well. I tried. I tried. <laughs> it was a good mission nonetheless. I mean, I was just proving a theory. Oh yeah.